you, uh, you, you know, I saw the James Bond movie, and you have the big song, which is a song that's been out for a while. Because I've loved Bond since forever, and so has my entire family and the world. And I've said this before, but <laughs> years before the Bond song, our song was going to be anything, was even like a topic of discussion with us. Um, we would do it as a songwriting exercise, me and my brother. So we would like really? pretend to write a Bond song. Like years ago, we would just be like, let's let's like sit down and like do some chords that feel like Bond esque. To all the kids that have dreams of being successful like you, what advice could you give them? Be successful like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, believe in yourself, even if anyone else believes in you. you Got to have ultimate confidence like you do. You're very confident. Thank you. And just just believe in yourself. You've recently gotten into vision boards. Ooh, yeah. Now, talk to me about this. What do you do and does it work? Okay, so I am, as I said, very judgmental. So when I heard about the idea of vision boards, mm -hmm. it feels like kind of like a woo-woo LA thing to do. But when you're at the end of the year and it's like, you know, getting to be January 1st and you're looking at your life and you're like, I need to make serious changes here. Like, I just thought it was kind of fun. Like the idea, it's like kind of craftsy to put together a vision board. So, but, but hang on, of what? Things that you want things to that achieve? You want, it's basically like what I think of my, my kids, like Santa list of all the things they want in their life. And you put them on a board so you can visualize it and you're supposed to hang it up in a place where you always see it. And you're always reminded of it, and somehow it's supposed to like psychologically help it come true. <laughs> yeah. And has it did, has it worked? No, I hated it. So I what? I put it all up there at all the things I wanted, and then nothing happened. Sometimes the opposite of that would happen. Like right. literally, like I would see something that I put up there, and it was definitely like off the table. And these are embarrassing things. It's like think you know very vulnerable things. And so I would pass by it every day when I would leave my house. Um, and I just was like, this is embarrassing me. I'm being taunted by the vision board. Yeah. And I took it down and I like, ripped it up and threw it away. And then, two months later, like five of the things happened. What? Yeah. So now it's a little supernatural, right? So, but like, so now I, now I was like, I wonder if it was because I took it down. I don't know. But so that's my. It was up there. You think so? I believe in vision boards. Yeah, because you okay. do this. You, you, you yes. do this. I love a good vision board. I actually have vision board parties at the end of like the year to manifest, yeah, next year. So hang on, you, so you'll have, so talk me, so you, what, friends will come over, yeah. and you'll all do a vision That's board awesome. together? With, with tons of magazines, and we're just like cutting them out, we'll have everything from like the Hollywood Reporter to Oprah Magazine to... Oh, yeah. Oprah Magazine's great Oprah for this. Ma it's really for good. For this vision board. For certain, that... Because she's always saying why and It's like, first, and then you, like, you can cut out whole paragraphs from the old magazine. Who else are you keen to book? Um, I'm keen to book Drake. So, fingers crossed. I think you should have done that. Can you, can you see? Or are you, like, when you look at me now, can you see, see. me? Yeah, I can see you. Right. Do you understand good and bad energy stuff? Um, you have good energy. Sometimes you can talk it to, into existence and stuff. Yeah. But it might be good or bad. Do you, yeah. Are you, like, do you believe in that like stuff? Like, I want to date Drake. Do you? Like, is that what you say? Yeah, like that type of stuff. Yeah. You believe in that. And then you put it out and then And it then happens. it could. No, but it doesn't always happen. Rick didn't even slide into your DMs. He publicly asked you for a date, like, in front of everyone. I literally, in front of everyone, I feel like, how many, he's got millions and billions of followers. He's replied to the comment saying, chicken shop date, question mark. And I literally was like, what? Like, what? <laughs> it didn't feel impossible because I, um, you know, sometimes I think that people mistake this for being narcissistic, but mm -hmm. I look at it as if you don't believe in yourself, then who will? Right. And you know, it's a lot. Manifesting has a lot to do with talking with yourself, mm. not comparing yourself to right. other people. So important. Um, yeah. So important. Staying in your path in your lane, and maybe that worked for somebody else, but that, but may, maybe that's not where you came from. And I was someone who, like, you know, I didn't have those connections. I, I, years and years, I couldn't get an agency. Every day, because I have a vision, I have my confidence, and I believe in myself. People call it arrogant, I call it confidence. Ignorant people call it arrogant, intelligent people call it confidence.
confidence. My brain works um, in order to catch it from doing bad things because the brain is really tricky and it will tell you things that aren't true. And so knowing that I would remember a negative experience more than I'd remember a positive, I would really make it my mission to go, okay, but the positive experiences with that person were equal. I'm gonna choose to let that negative experience go. In presenting this like bubbly, happy person, which is someone that I cultivate and I nurture and I try really hard to exist as. Also, when you fill your life with wonderful things and friends and love, you don't have time, you just don't have time to worry about nonsense. You can feel it. Energy is energy is everything. Everybody releases energy, no matter what we do. You shaking your head, you camera, you holding it, you releasing energy. You releasing some type of vibrations from your body. So with that being said, we all we all have some sense of uh, 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 formatting energy, you know, especially releasing it, but also observing it and being aware that this is what's happening. You know, many times we do things normally or naturally <laughs> that we don't understand how we did it, but we're doing just a simple thing, daydreaming. Many times people daydream and go out. That's a form, a form uh, some type of form of meditation. When you go out, you days off, you daydreaming or whatever, or whether you got your eyes closed, you day, hey, oh man, I, you didn't know how you get in that state of mind. But it's real. Just imagine if you can get in that state of mind just instantly, just automatically on, on, on your own demand. Mm -hmm. You can, it can happen, you know what I'm saying? I can do it easily. But that's just practice, that's just being one with yourself, being able to separate everything and focus on one thing and being able to go and visualize yourself doing it. We all have natural powers, you know what I'm saying? We just, we just, we don't know how to use them. And that's the thing about people, we all have something instilled in us. We all have greatness in us, but greatness is only determined by service.